Oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. Probably didn't see me either. Could have killed me, but I guess you don't know which guns are gonna do that because we haven't gotten through the video yet. Which guns are going to penetrate the most through drywall? This has been a topic of debate that's been talked about for a long time. Well, which one's gonna be effective enough to put down a home intruder, whether that be a, uh, you know, a, a skinwalker or, or, or what, Micah? A skinwalker disguised as an Amazon employee. Yeah, same thing. So what, what's good enough to put them down, but at the same time, not so effective or so powerful that it's going to eat straight through that wall of your house and uh, you know, kill your dog. This has been talked about forever, but I've, I've rarely seen like good comprehensive tests with a large amount of weaponry. So we did have these uh, drywall sections built up to code. This is American code, but if, it, if we, we're not gonna do European code because you guys don't even have guns. You should work on that, by the way. And of all the weapons we have, they're almost all effective. We're gonna see which ones uh, just smoke straight through drywall and just straight through these, through these targets straight through. So, but of course, before we get into it, we have to thank the biggest sponsor of the channel. The biggest sponsor of the channel is the Sonoran Desert Institute. If you're looking to get your start in gunsmithing, they are the people to go to. We cannot thank them enough. And uh, yeah, go check them out because we're very appreciative of them. And who else can we not forget, Micah? Primary arms, and they make optics that you can stop home intruders with yourself. You know what? That's actually the truest statement. That's actually pretty good, Micah. Thanks. I've got nothing else to add. Primary Arms, a big thank you to them. And of course, unlike camera that this is filmed on, unlike the TV and the phone that you're currently watching this on, AAC Ammunition is made in the United States. Go and support them. They are an awesome company, all US made, and they sponsor all the ammo for the channel. So we cannot thank them enough, but uh, that's enough talk with sponsors. Right here with me, I have uh, guest star, administrative results, who's now docs as Aaron. Oh. Thank you for coming on the channel. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem, man. So uh, drywall penetration tests, we're pretty sure that every single uh, bullet is gonna go all the way through. Uh, agreed, Aaron? I have a uh, strong inclination to say that it will. Yeah, I, I think so. So we'll do the test with one, and depending on how uh, good it penetrates, then we'll add uh, more lo you know layers of drywall with uh, separation. So. You know, not only are you shooting through your bedroom, but also through the hallway, into the kitchen, uh, the, the neighbor's house. You know, it could get pretty intense. Yep. Do you do know the punishment for graffiti in Idaho, correct? Is it a uh, firing squad? Yeah. Okay, first weapon we have is the uh, 22. This is a Volkortsen 22 with a uh, JK Armament suppressor and uh, a PEC 14 and an aim point. You know what? You never know what you're dealing with. But I think a lot of people actually do use 22. Mark IV, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh, exactly. This is a Mark IV, basically. Really? Yeah, it's got it. Straight I'm, through? I'm, I'm feeling this. I feel like it's going to go through. Okay, we're going to find out. We're, we're going to find out. Yeah, that smokes. Yeah, I heard a lot of people say like, oh, uh, 556 will break up in drywall. That's a lead round, bro. I think uh, I think we're in for a bad time. I think you're just killing your neighbor no matter what you do at this point. It's like uh, a lot of urban legends about to be debunked right now. Uh, second test. You guys ready? Yep. All right, here we go. Uh, it's like you're a dad or something. Oh, I know. Okay. Maybe not a dad after that, though. Oh! Oh. It stopped! No. Yeah! No way! Look at that! Next up, uh, 9 mil. Uh, so we have a couple different rounds. Let's be clear. A lot of people talk about FMJ going straight through walls. Yeah. I believe that. I think uh, I'll buy that. a whole point's probably the first one. So we have a FMJ to start. I'm guessing it's just going to smoke straight through the first one. Do you want to put a target um, straight behind there so we can... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we have the MMP 2.0 and we have FMJ and we'll, uh, we'll see how it does. Uh, so that went straight through, straight through our, uh, our dog and, uh, straight through the next piece of drywall and exited and went into my child. Uh, kid number one is Capone. Gone. Next up we have G9, one of my favorite carry ammos and I'm actually really interested to see how it does. It is a lighter round, it is 80 grains. So maybe it will have less power to go through everything. It's the nine millimeter round that went to fat camp. Oh my God. Well. That had some ass behind it. Yeah, it did. It's a 9mm that went to fat camp and got fit, dude. Yeah, no, that uh, that didn't change a damn thing at no. all. Next up, we have a normal hollow point right here. We have a uh, MHP. And uh, hopefully that, like, stops it somehow. We'll, we'll see. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think that did a damn no. thing. No, that didn't care. Okay, so we now have four layers of drywall. I, wanted, I do want to be clear, we do have studs right here where the screws are. This is built specifically to 
uh, code and everything. But four layers of drywall, MHP, there is a chance it's gonna deviate and hit a stud, and I think that has the best chance of stopping it. Because wood is hard. Yeah, we're trying to just go through drywall for right now. Because I think wood has a really good chance of stopping it. I mean, wood always stops certain things. No, that didn't work. That, that's too late, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> that joke is in there. All right, guys, you ready? Exit. All the way through, man. Maybe the really fast rifle rounds will break up in the drywall. Okay, next up, uh, the most famous weapon, uh, 1911 45. Here we go. Entrance, exit, entrance, exit, entrance, exit. Well, the 45's got that dog in them. Shotguns. 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 So we have two different rounds we're gonna try. We have Federal Flight Control, uh, horny, horny Critical Defense, horny? same thing pretty much, and then we have uh, a Sabo Slug. I think maybe the Buckshot has a chance of stopping in the drywall. Uh, I think it does. What I do you think, think, Micah? Are we doing Birdshot? Yeah. Birdshot? No, we're not, not doing do Birdshot. Who the fuck fun? uses, doing bird shot for uses Birdshot for home defense? Hey, what's the matter with you? Uh, okay, here we go yeah. with the uh, with uh, Central Flight Control. Oh. That was... That was impressive. I think. Uh, that's. Yeah, that buckshot didn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we got about three pellets that made it to the back target. I do want to note that one of the pellets did get stopped by a stud right here. So we have one pellet that was stopped in the fourth drywall on the uh, stud, so. There was actually, no, you didn't see it. There was another uh, pellet that got stopped by another stud. Oh, cool. Right here. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Next up, we have a slug. Here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Yep, straight through. Yeah. Hey, this is really cool. Come look at this. You can actually see the uh, the rifling on the slug. Whoa. In the wall. Oh, How dang. Neat. Admin GT forever. Straight through the neighbor's neighbor's house. And then, holy shit. Still enough energy to go through the uh, the target. We have what a lot of people use. I know I do a mm. short barreled 5.56. Five, yeah, I mean that's very rational. Yeah. So we have an FMJ in here. And we have two other rounds. We'll try. Mm. We'll try a Vmax and we'll yep. try a 77 grain. Perfect. And uh, I'm guessing. Here we go. Actually, hold on. Was that the Vmax first? No, it was the FMJ. FMJ. So. It looks like its course got diverted. Come look at this. So it was traveling sideways by the second drywall, and then it went off course. I'm thinking, let's try to shoot a little bit more center. Maybe we're onto something here. Yeah. Round two, FMJ. Enter and exit, enter, exit, enter, exit, enter, exit. Sideways, the round destabilized, and Excellent. This range is pretty big, Micah. You know it's great? Now we have the CF Moto Utility Vehicles. We want to give a big shout out to them for sponsoring the channel and helping us out. Can't take them enough because there's a lot of land to walk around on and uh, it gets extremely tiring. It's a fact. Right, Micah? You got tired of hearing me uh, complain about it, dude. Uh, no, no, not at all. I never get tired of you. Next up, VMAX. This is a varmint round. It's supposed to break apart in a in like a marmot. In a, in a marmot? Yeah, a var or marmot. Like a woodchuck? What kind of woodchuck? South African woodchuck, East Plain woodchuck. Uh, Western Plain. Armadillo. All right, let's see what the VMAX says. I don't think it went all the way. Enter, exit, enter. Oh, it's starting to break apart. Enter, exit, in two pieces right here. Exit, stopped one piece of it right here. Continued and stopped. Right there. Third. Yeah, third wall. You know what? That's not bad. To be very clear, this is AAC VMAX. Thank you, AAC ammo. Thank you, AAC ammo. Yeah. All right, we have an AAC 77 grain. Uh, I use these personally in my home defense weapon. Let's see how it does. Let's see uh, how screwed I am at my house. Oh, yeah, baby. Enter, exit. Enter. Exit. Oh, it's going sideways. Look at that. Whoa. It stopped. Right here. No. No. Is 77 grain OTM goaded in the sauce? 
We have the KR-103 from KUSA. This is probably the most common round in the world. If you're anywhere but America, probably your home defense round. Or your hut defense round, because you're not in America. You've been thinking about that one for a while? That one, yeah, I was thinking about that. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. In, out. Mark, we mark all those X's right yeah, there. Yeah, I just want to see. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. That is a perfect 7.62 by 39 projectile. <laughs> and <laughs> it's straight through your neighbor's dog. Yep. <laughs> well, oh well. Next up, we have the Elva, well, a clone, firing. 300 blackout, probably one of the most popular subsonic rounds. So it is going slower than the speed of sound. It is a heavy round, it's like 220 grains. 300 blackout, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, looks like you can't count on that to not kill your neighbor's dog. If you live anywhere but the inner city limits, you have the 4570 government, the only government that we trust, and uh, yeah, lever action, America. Dang. And out. Look at all the powder right there. In, out, in, out, in, out, in. And, dude, that did not deviate at all. Exit and straight through. 30 out six. That's all American. This is World War II to a T, except with brick walls. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You're in Karen time. <laughs> You're assaulting the Germans. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Don't use a uh, grand for home defense. No, unless you want to win. The perfect M1 grand projectile. <laughs> and the perfect M1 grand projectile exit. All right, Mike, let's try the M1 grand. Okay. Yeah. Wait, hold on, do you hear that? What is that? Up him. Up him. Dude, just this, this is fine. <laughs> Now, I know someone out there is going to be using a 308. Like you, what's your home defense weapon? Definitely a 308. There you go, an FAL, right? Where, how'd you know? Oh, Rhodesia. Yeah. Kind of a, you kind of like got like a blood diamond Rhodesia thing going. I do, yeah, you got me there. Yeah, I got you there. Anyhow, 308, we have the uh, MR762A1. Continuing to rotate. And then let's see where that... There it is. In the exit. And uh, looks like it went off course at that point. Okay, next up. Wait a we, second. It's the op from Counter-Strike. It's not the op. So we have a 300 no, Winchester Magnum. It is a very, very fast, very powerful round. I don't know why you would use this, but I'm sure some guy's got a hunting gun and he's gonna try it. No, this is for our guys that like YY no scopes. Um, I think it's a great idea. Yeah, I think so. Hit here, exited. Off to the left. Yeah, went off to the side. One more, one more. Ready? Yep. Entrance, exit. Entrance. <laughs> Look at that. You know, ballistics just, these 30 cal projectiles are tumbling by the uh, second piece of drywall. At entrance, exit, and then. Finally, we have our last exit right there. Okay, let's sum this all up. Well, I've heard a lot of theories when it comes to home defense about what types of rounds you should use, which types of rounds are not gonna penetrate through a bunch of drywall. Uh, I've heard, for example, that 5.56 is so fast that it just breaks up in one piece of drywall. Did you hear that doing police work? Absolutely, I did. That was a common consensus. There's even times where they'd be like, hey, we have certain rounds that shouldn't over penetrate. From what I've seen here, every single round pretty much had the potential to go straight through. Now, if they hit a stud, it could certainly right. slow them down and put them off course, but we had some rounds that uh, on the third wall hit the third stud on that third wall and they still went straight through. Yeah. Um, I think all we can really take into account here is you really have to be aware of your backdrop when you're shooting, especially in a home defense situation. Absolutely. You should know your angles prior to if you know your family member's room is at that angle, then you should really consider things pretty carefully prior to taking that shot. And these are things you should consider in your home defense setup. I mean, it's, you are accountable for every round you send off. I mean, 100%. even if you're defending yourself, you're gonna have to face a very long, drawn out court battle. Probably so. Probably, possibly. Yeah, you are, you are, actually. Yeah. I'm just gonna say you are. I'm gonna ruin your day. Point is, be aware of where your rounds are going. I understand that there are certain rounds that are barrier blind specific rounds. We'll test those at a later time as far as their actual effectiveness on 
uh, ballistic torsos. But um, as you can see, probably with most of the common ammo that you guys carry, I know I don't have you know barrier blind rounds loaded in my weapons. They're going straight through, no problem. Absolutely no change to any of the ammo. Every from nine mil and on, it just went straight through everything. The only thing that that did stop, what? The V Max did pretty good, I will say that. Yeah. But like the 22 did great. Yeah. 20, 22 is it, right, Micah? Uh, yeah. Not, not it. Not, not as ballistically capable. In any case, guys, point is, with everything, thought and especially training prior to, so that you know yes. what angles you're shooting at, understand all that stuff. There's a lot of great places to get training from. Bear Solution, Taylor Strategic, all that good stuff. Make sure that you guys get that training. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We've got nothing else for you. Final thing for you, dad advice with our favorite Aaron admin results. Uh, hit us. Honor God, love your woman, and leave it all behind. Love it. What are we leaving behind? Yeah. It. Whatever it is. You know what it is. You know what it is. Who is that? Who, who is, is that? Hey, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that, huh? Hey, who is that? <laughs>